Good morning. We are at the beginning of today's trail half marathon, starting in Temesco Gateway Park and then progressing up the High Point Trail. We're gonna go up to Goat Peak, then High Point, and then to Mescal Peak. Absolutely spectacular views the whole way. Okay, we are on our way to Goat Peak. It is really, really steep, so we're not even uh, able to run the whole thing right now. So it's just hiking straight up, but wow, it's worth going a little slower because look at these views. Absolutely incredible view of downtown LA. And then all the way down the coast, over to Catalina and out to the ocean. Okay, I am running up one of the steepest parts of this trail because I want to catch the sun as it rises. Here comes the lees ascending into an incredible sunrise. Really steep. You know it's a good day when the shirt is already coming off. <laughs> <laughs> it's warming up. Well, this trail half marathon is unique in that it is relentlessly steep for the first two miles, almost 2,000 feet of vertical. Really steep. <laughs> so do not feel discouraged if you have to hike most of the first two miles. It will be eminently runnable for the last 10 miles. Elise might have thought I was exaggerating when I told her how ultra steep this first part of the trail is, but I don't think she thinks that anymore. As she, I believe you. As she rock climbs up the trail. <laughs> I'm sure I look really graceful right now. <laughs> Well, we have made it to the top of Goat Peak, where humans fare to tread, <laughs> but goats are quite comfortable. I wish we saw goats, they'd be so cute. <laughs> now it's off to Temesco Peak. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Well, we are entering the infamous bushwhack section that Adam's been telling me about. Let's go. Oh my God. Adam is just way too tall for this trail. <laughs> it's like a little enchanted forest. <laughs> yeah. If only you were the size of a hobbit, it would work out quite nicely for you. This is fun. Okay, coming over the hill, our first views of the valley. Okay, well we are approaching the top of Temesco Peak and it's kind of a bittersweet moment because it's our halfway point and it means we will have completed virtually all the climbing but unfortunately it also means that we have to leave that fantastic high point trail where we saw virtually no other humans for the entire six and a half miles and a trail. <laughs> great trail <sighs> well we made it to mescal peak it's incredible it's a true 360 degree panorama wow. all the way from the valley to the ocean to downtown LA. Feel good? Amazing. What an awesome half trail marathon. We're now going to go down to Mescal Canyon Trail, which is going to be much more crowded, although also very beautiful. Let's do it. Okay. Well, one of the fun things about today is we're doing some bonus peaking. We've gone kind of slow because of Elise's 
uh, injury. Her frostbite. Her frostbite, her freezer burn injury. <laughs> and, uh, but that's allowed us to just kind of take these little side trails, little adventures off the kind of main fire road on the way down. And it's really quite fun, these little, yeah. little side peaks. <laughs> On our way up to another bonus peak, the views do not quit. It's a beautiful little viewpoint up here. Fantastic look at downtown. Pretty much all downhill now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I highly recommend taking the ridge trail that runs just east of the fire road. There's not anyone on it and it goes up and down every gorgeous little peak giving you lots of bonus elevation climbing and bonus views <laughs> as long as you don't fall on your butt which Elise is about to. <laughs> Honestly, if there are two trails leading to the same space and one is steeper than the other, Adam always makes us take the steeper one. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, we are getting to the end of the High Point Trail to Temescal Peak Loop, almost half marathon. It was more, oh, it was closer to like 12 miles than 13, but it was still a pretty good, uh, pretty good little effort this morning. And awesome for any of you who are not as crazy as Adam, not trying to do a full trail marathon, this one might be just up your alley. Yeah, uh, what do you say went right, what went wrong? Well. We didn't have to hike in a blizzard. That was right. <laughs> that went well. That was awesome. Uh, also, it was so nice that there was absolutely no one on the High Point Trail because it's yeah. such a difficult trail. Almost nobody goes on it. And we were just really all alone out there for a beautiful six and a half miles. The opposite is true, of course, coming down to Mescal Canyon. I would say we passed conservatively 200 people. Massive crowds with boom boxes, a <laughs> hiker's nightmare. <laughs> Lots of music play. It was, that was a bit much, but you know, we were running down most of that, so it, was okay. it wasn't too bad. Uh, everything else went well, except I guess I went commando under my tights, which resulted in some very uncomfortable chafing. I won't be doing that again. The uh, things you guys really don't need to know, but we're gonna tell you anyway. Pro tip for guys who decide to wear tights. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys check this one out and we'll see you next time.